relentlessly seeking God bring result. And many times, the Holy Ghost, not just to pray, but my flesh said, no, I'm tired. Give me five more minutes. And every time you need to get up to pray, your flesh is saying, take five more minutes. Because the devil wants to defeat what you're about to gain. Hallelujah to God. So I'm not going according to how my flesh feel. I'm going according to the word of God that men are always to pray and not to faint. Men are always, not sometimes. Hallelujah. But pastor, can I pray 24-7? Yes, when you pray. It means your mindset is on God. Hallelujah to God. Sometimes uh, you can't finish your prayer at home. But when you get in your automobile, going down 95. Hallelujah. You keep your eyes open on the road. But in your heart, you're reaching out to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. The reason why the enemy seem like he's having the upper hand in your family. Somebody need to walk up and down in the house and start to pray and plead the blood over your families. Lord have mercy. When we pray, demons tremble. When we pray, demon got to go. For Bible said the devil tremble at the weakest of the saint that's on their knees telling your neighbor, neighbor, it's it's time to seek the Lord. One of the things that I have discovered, we don't have a problem coming out here on Sunday morning. <laughs> because what? That's a tradition. I, 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 from my child, I know I have to go to Sunday school. Can't stay home. But I come to this church this afternoon, and I'm asking the church, it's time to come together and pray. It's time to seek God diligently, not only for yourself, but somebody is in trouble. Somebody need to hear what God is saying in this time. And when the church pray, as the Bible said, men are always to pray. You can't give up. You can't give up. Your job is so important. I don't have time to pray. I take every overtime that comes my way. I, 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 my school takes priority. Everything that my friends are doing, invite me over even prayer night. I go because prayer is not important to me. When will we see it? as a necessity for the believers. When we pray, it brings us into an intimate relationship with God. Hallelujah. The Bible says we should look not on the things that are seen. For the things that are seen, they are temporal. But the things that are not seen, they are eternal. Yes, the car look good. Yes, the house look good. Everything around you look good. But these are temporal things. It shall not last. Hallelujah. But when I look through the eyes of faith, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see, praise God. There's a mansion to appear for the people of God. John said the streets are paved with gold. The walls are like jasper. Hallelujah to God. Aren't you ready? Aren't you ready to realize that the more I see God, it's the more God will fill me up. And when God fill me up, I can bring a word. I can give a word of encouragement. There are some folks, they cannot give a word of encouragement because they have no relationship with God. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. The flesh become the biggest hindrances. Suppose so and modify the four. Your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. 
Lord of mercy, if you find yourself, praise God, involved in any of these and God in lifestyle, you are setting up yourself for the wrath and the judgment of God. It's time for you to live a holy and a consecrated life. When you are seeking God, you will involve in all of these ungodliness. But the more you seek God, it's the more than an appetite open up in you for God. Hallelujah to God. When you call a friend, tell him about the love of God. Say, brother, I need you to pray with me. I'm going through a situation now, but I know prayer changes things. Yes, I didn't come to speak your flesh. I come to speak your spirit. I come to wake up your consciousness. Who do you spend your time with? Where do you spend your time? What do you spend your time doing? When was the last time you get on your knees and cry out for the ministry? When was the last time that you cry out for your family? Hallelujah. I love a man of God who loved to pray. Yes, it's good to sing. It's good to preach. The devil himself is a preacher. The devil was the choir master. But one thing he don't do, he don't pray. Hallelujah. If the devil can cripple your prayer life, he have you conquered. But I have a word for the church. A relentless seek of the God. Oh, Lord. Even though my flesh, hallelujah, is hurting, but my spirit is yearning for God. I come with a word. You got to choose your friends wisely in this day and time. Yes. When you choose somebody who is a prayer warrior, it also means that it will bring you in to that type of prayer relationship. The word for today is it's time to see God. I'm going after God with every fiber in my being. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Many a times we take too much time seeking to satisfy my flesh. But when the soul man is satisfied, the flesh man will have to come in alignment. Let the church say hallelujah. I can bring your message that will pick the emotion. But I want you to think about where you are with God. When was the last time God speak to you? When was the last time God speak to you? You're too busy doing your own thing. You get involved in so many things. You got to take time out to go into your secret closet. And talk with God. Your family is in a disarray. Problems on every hand. But if you take time to pray, Lord have mercy. Let me, I pray for the family of this ministry. But you have a responsibility to build a relationship with God. When you have a relationship with God, it means that you are in communication with heaven. Your flesh don't want the thing of God. So if you find yourself in this lifestyle, Paul said in the sixth verse, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh upon the children of disobedient. Yes, if you continue to live in that ungodly lifestyle, the judgment of God, the wrath of God is hanging over our head. Lord have mercy. So he continued to tell us what to drop off. He said, but no, but no, he also put up all these anger, wrath, malice, blaspheming, filthy communication out of your mouth, lying at one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man which is corrupt, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Hallelujah to God. Yes, there are some things we got to put aside. We got to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset us 
and let us run this race with patience, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. It is time to seek the Lord. It is time to go in to God in prayer and say, God, I have a need. There is a need in the family. There is a need in the church. A need on the job. Whatever the needs are, church, you have God. And when you have God and have a relationship with God, God will turn it around. Let the church say hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, relentlessly seek after God. No matter what your flesh is telling you. No matter how you feel. Would you stand in the house all over the building? Would you stand? And we are coming in a time of when the church is going to turn down their plate. Turn down your busy, busy schedule. And make time to seek the face of the Lord. If we seek God, it's guaranteed that God will answer. There's somebody in this house feel frustrated walking this pathway. The reason why frustration step in, the reason why you become boring, you don't have a relationship with God. When you have a relationship with God and you're passionately seeking out of God, the thing of God will flow through your being. Before we close the service, if there's one in this house who needs strength for the journey, we're inviting you to come at this time. You have a Savior. You have one that is ready to receive you.